Alright guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer and today we are going to address one of the most problematic aspects of my life going to the shop and forgetting to buy something I really can't tell you how many times I've gone to the store to buy soap for example then when I get back home I realized I've got toilet paper of course potatoes, snacks, whatever but I forgot to buy the soap but I say this, no more. Today we are automating our shopping list with Python and of course we are going to send it as an email just to be sure that we don't forget anything. First things first, let's tackle the shopping list creation. The way I initially saw it is we had three options. First one, to use good old pen and paper to write down everything we need and just bring this uh, piece of paper to the shop with us but really come on we are not that kind of noobs so we are not going to take this option second option actually is just to use our keyboard or just our phone and use a sticky notes app or just some notes app on our phone write down the whole shopping list then when we get to the store we are going to have it in our notes but again, too easy and too obvious for our tastes. So, we are left with the third and final options that of course we are going to take. We are going to automate our shopping list creation with voice recognition. So we are going to use voice commands. Let's say we see that our eggs have expired or we don't have any eggs, then we just go to our computer, activate our script, say, add eggs and the eggs are going to be added in a very simple text file. Then when our file is completely created, we are going to use another, another one voice command to actually send our list to our email. So it's going to be available anywhere. Well, as long as we bring our phone, of course. Great. I think you all agree that this is the only reasonable way of doing this. Let's write some code. Honestly, uh, just to be clear with you guys, you've probably seen me write this code a couple of times. Um, but for the three new subscribers we gained in the last three months, let's explain it one more time. We are going to use the speech recognition package and Python's text-to-speech libraries for the script. We want to enable the voice handler script invocation from other places, so we are going to add some functions in this script. Use check all voices command to choose a desired voice and then use the get voice function to actually use it. The speak function gets passed a text and then uses the voice to say it. And finally, the get audio function uses your microphone and the Google Recognize Voice API to decipher your voice into text. So far so good. Now let's use our voice handler script in our main Python script, nice, to actually record and save all our shopping list items in a text file. It was that easy. You see, now let's start using our initial Python bot to build up our shopping list. Hello, do you want to add groceries or send the list? Add. Let me know what you want to add. 12 eggs. Monster energy. Toothpaste. Bread. 
chicken, milk, sliced cheese. Our shopping list is done! Woo! To be honest, I got scared a little bit there for a moment when I saw there is no toilet paper. But then I remember that back in March I bought uh, enough toilet paper to last me to 2021. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to writing our email sending part of the scripts. We are going to also create a separate Python file for this and we are going to use it in our main one. I would suggest you use environment variables and the library decouple in order to hide your email and password and you don't have to commit them in git let's say. I will leave some good tutorials for everything in this video down in the description because I don't plan on explaining this right now. Other very cool channels have done way better job than me at this already. As a whole we just create a separate python script and write a method that sends us an email with a specific body. We are going to use the Google SMTP server for this. We are at the finishing line. The only thing left to do is use our email script in our main one and add another voice command to send what we have stored in our text file to our phone by email. Let's see how it's done. Great! Let's try it and see if it says the command properly. Hello. Do you want to add groceries or send the list? Send. Sending the current list to your email. I'm on focus. Now it's finally time to go shopping. Come on. It's time to do 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 Great guys, this video actually worked out and the idea was not entirely unnecessary. The only problem was that I actually bought some quite unnecessary shit, like a blanket for some reason, but yeah, I'm going to use it on my couch. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, leave a dislike, whatever floats your boat. Thank you for your support and see you in the next one. Bye!